should we have a child we are married for a year or two um everybody is asking when are you going to give the good news and but we don't seem to be connected we fight often we have disconnection we have anger and we are wondering whether to have a child or not if this is a question that you have on your mind then in this video i'm going to give you three insights that will help you to answer this question hi my name is valerian and i'm a marriage coach and in this video i'm going to give you three insights to answer this question of should i have a child right now or not if you are married for one or two years it's obvious to ask this question should we plan for a child this question never arisen in the minds of people who were married 30 40 years ago because there was no option for it so if you are somebody like this here are three pointers that will help you to make this decision and at the end of it i am going to give you an opportunity to make your marriage awesome so the first pointer is this whole idea of probably your parents would have told you this well what's the big deal have a child because um it doesn't matter whether whether you are fighting or not because when you were born even we were fighting and you came out right there was no problem with you guys so you have a child the answer to this question or to this opinion is this three year uh, three decades ago the whole milieu the whole milieu of of the society was very different you had siblings to connect with you had uncle and aunts it was a joint family so you were not the child was not totally dependent on the parents for getting that love and affection and on the other side along with that the when the husband went to work when the dad went to work when dad went to work mom was all alone and the environment in the house was very peaceful let's fast forward to today there are no uncles there are no aunts there are no siblings to connect with and the time that the child has with the parents is most of the time with both of them and it's very limited so if you're not able to give that quality time what can you expect to happen to that child the second thing is the popular belief having a child brings a couple closer and it's absolutely true if the couple has passed or crossed the what is called as a fighting stage obviously when the if the uh, couple has crossed a fighting stage and they have walked into something called a mature love obviously the child brings the couple closer otherwise child creates one more reason for the couple to stay in that marriage the child becomes a reason the the best way to explain this is through an analogy you know why um a, having a child will not bring you closer if you are fighting the analogy is this imagine that you are learning to write and you are not able to write properly okay every now and then you are falling down and now you decide to go on a heavy traffic road thinking that you will become a better rider now that's stupidity you will bound to meet with accidents so what will happen if you have a child if you are constantly fighting and you have a child is that you will have one more reason to fight about that's all and that will bring out uh, that will give the worst to your child the third thing and very important thing for you for uh, anybody who is planning to have a child is and having these conflicts is this let's remember having a child is a personal decision of course it is influenced by family relatives that's true so having a child is a personal decision but rearing a child is a social and moral responsibility let me repeat that again having a child or not having a child is a personal decision but upbringing a child the growth of the child is a social and moral responsibility if you look at lot of the crimes that happens and perpetrators of these crimes the roots of their crime goes may it be drug abuse may it be rapes may it be murder many a times the root of that 
um, crime or the perpetrator for doing that goes back to childhood. So if you are not able to create that peaceful environment for your child, then there's a question to ask. Because research says that what a child needs in order to be successful in life is a secure base. A sense that no matter what happens, my parents are going to be with me. And if the present condition gives you that feeling that maybe if you don't resolve this right now and go ahead and have a child, maybe we may, might part ways. Now that's a, that's, that's a dangerous situation. Because if you ever part ways, it's going to give a bigger blow to your child. And that brings me to the opportunity that I want to give you. The opportunity to attend my live webinar. And in this webinar, I'm going to teach you how to make your marriage awesome in 90 days. The exact things that helped us to make our marriage awesome. And I've taught this to people who are married for a year to people who are married for a decade or two and always one partner. So the beauty of this webinar is in this webinar, you're going to learn how to make your marriage awesome single handedly. So if you are somebody who is having conflicts, arguments, struggles in your marriage, don't waste your time because you're thinking of having a child. You're thinking of building a family and if you have a family, if you have children, you want to give the best to them. And this webinar is going to be totally confidential. No one will ever get to know that you have attended this webinar. So if you're interested, go to coachval.co forward slash more love and sign up for the webinar. So I'll see you at the webinar. And as always, share this video with your friends and colleagues so that their marriage too may become awesome. Until we connect again, let's keep our love story alive. May love live forever. Thank you.